Hello, A listers, and welcome to my hyperpigmentation hygiene routine. This routine focuses on making skin conditions less shameful by using products that brighten and soothe the skin. This video is in partnership with Topicals, and I'll be showing you how I incorporate faded serum like butter moisturizer and faded spray into my everyday routine. So, if you have discoloration on your face or your body, this routine was made just for you. I start out by applying my no drip clean cleansing cups from LA Beautyologist. And then the first step in my oral hygiene routine is my whitening rinse. The brand is never really important. You just wanna make sure that whatever brand you choose, the whitening rinse has peroxide in it. The next step is my tongue scraper. My secret to fresh breath is using toothpaste on my tongue scraper and scraping my cheeks, my tongue, and my lips. And then step three is floss. It's actually not dentist recommended to use these like floss picks so i'm going to start using the actual floss floss and then the fourth step is brushing my teeth so i apply a little bit of peppermint soap just a tiny tiny bit on my toothbrush along with my toothpaste and use my electric toothbrush from black then i finish off with a fluoride rinse i believe this one is alcohol free and i have a mini vlog on my instagram where all of these products are tagged so now we're moving on to my skincare routine my cleanser is an alpha beta cleansing gel i wash my face for approximately 60 seconds every single time and maybe three to four times throughout the week i will use this specific cleansing pad it just further helps to i feel um, exfoliate my face just make my skin a little softer a little smoother i splash water on my face and then i pat my skin dry either with a paper towel or a very clean towel and then we're moving on to my toner. The niacinamide brightening toner is what I've been using lately. Niacinamide is a great brightening ingredient. It gently um, and over time brightens your skin and I really like that. Then I move on to a discoloration correcting serum. Again, I'm all about gentle, gentle brightness over time. Um, you don't want to rush anything, especially brightening, hyperpigmentation, dark spots, discoloration. Then I move on to eye cream. I do find it really important to use eye cream for nourishment under the eyes, but the star of the show is truly Topicals Faded Serum. Adding this product to my skincare routine was a game changer for me. I was feeling so hopeless. This was last year. I took a risk and I bought the faded brightening and clearing serum and it has helped improve my skin so much and what I love about topicals is that they champion the idea of less painful and less frequent breakouts they are all about celebrating and embracing our skin and its conditions and as a brand topicals is very specific about proudly showcasing people with their skin conditions on their social media this is the like butter moisturizer by the way I use it to moisturize my face but like I was saying imagine opening up your topicals package and you have adult acne discoloration hyperpigmentation dark spots and the woman that is used to market these topicals products looks like you topicals is changing the idea that you have to have perfect clear skin to feel beautiful and confident so topicals mission is to help their customers experience less frequent and less painful flare-ups so instead of leaning into the notion that you have to have clear skin it champions the idea of managing and embracing your skin as it is and with ingredients like kojic acid azelaic acid niacinamide and licorice root it really helps to like it says fade to protect your skin from sun damage and also to see the results of all of these products make sure you are using spf every day rain or shine and then i like to finish up with a lip mask i prefer the lip mask over lip chap lip balm lip gloss it's just really nourishing so now we're moving on to my shower routine and yes while i'm in the shower i like to use products that help with my hyperpigmentation because i feel like i have a bit of discoloration on my body so i make sure that my skin is wet and and then I go in with my physical exfoliant. This is just like a body buffer and I use this physical exfoliant, um, let's see. I use this scrub I would say about three times a week. So I don't like to overdo it with this. And then I put on my exfoliating gloves. I think these are really gentle, if you ask me. Um, anyways, I use the exfoliating gloves with an antibacterial bar soap and I just make sure that I use 
this antibacterial bar soap as the first step in my shower routine when it comes to cleansing my body, washing my body. I think it's really important to start off with the bar soap to just feel really clean. And then I follow up with a lemon turmeric shea butter soap. So this is natural, it's organic, and the lemon and turmeric are just going to help brighten the skin. Again, very gently, I'm all about gentle, brightening okay that's the goal here so I use um, a microfiber towel to just wash my entire body with that so once I'm out of the shower I start my body care routine on damp skin so I love to use the topicals brightening and clearing mist this works so well for your body if you have strawberry legs if you have discoloration under your arms even if you feel like you want to just kind of brighten up your elbows your knees this product is perfect for you it is what you've been waiting for after i spray that on and rub it in i follow up with my green tea and ginger body butter this has such a fresh clean light scent to it it pairs perfectly with my perfume all the work that i did in the shower you can bet that i want to smell amazing so i like to do two layers of perfume i start off with a perfume oil and that perfume oil is massaged into my skin into my body butter specifically and then i finish up with an Oura parfum i spray this on my collarbone my ankles my wrists pretty much everywhere again specific products were tagged in my mini vlog on my instagram thank you again to topicals for sponsoring this video and i hope you enjoyed my hyperpigmentation hygiene routine.